If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is happening, guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 16 video. And guys, today, I've either found the guy who has spent the most money ever on this game or a guy who has found the craziest glitch in Madden 16 Ultimate Team. Uh, so guys, this is Suava1984. A bunch of people saw him yesterday on Twitch streaming. You can go to his Twitch channel and see exactly what he has. Now, the reason I'm zooming in here is because you're going to take a look at his uh, amount of coins that he has, which is, you know, it's a decent amount, but it's not anything crazy. But I want you to pay particular close attention to his contracts and also his tickets. So obviously his contracts are the things that you can put on the players. The tickets are things that are in-game that you use for events like uh, for ranked draft champions and things like that. So look at how many of those that this guy had. Absolutely crazy. So what I'm showing you guys here is kind of highlights from his stream. Um, this guy was going on and on about how he's completely legit. He was, I don't know if he was drunk or if he's just always acts like this, but he was a little bit off kilter a little bit. Uh, he was banning people. I don't know if it was his wife or his girlfriend was in there as well. And she was banning people and, uh, and talking to him in the background and stuff. And uh, so basically guys, I went in and took a look closer at these numbers that this guy has and I was kind of surprised well not really I mean I was very surprised <laughs> about uh, the amount of packs that this guy would have had to have opened to be at the level of having as many contracts and tickets as he has so uh, first things first let's talk about the contracts because uh, the contracts I think were kind of the the most surprising thing to me I mean first of all actually let me let me talk about this first this dude had the best team that I've ever seen in this game like bar none better than toke better than golden sports better than anybody that I've ever seen in this game uh, he had every single good card that you could look for and then as you see on the screen here, he was giving away really, really nice 99 overall cards just for the hell of it, basically. I mean, he was doing like a Mikey Sweats type of stream, uh, but had an even crazier team than I think Mikey ever even had, which is absolutely insane. But he had multiple, I mean, he had golden tickets at every single position. I think golden ticket Des Bryant was his number five wide receiver, uh, just to give you an idea. Uh, so uh, yeah, it was absolutely out of control. But um, the contracts, this is kind of the thing that I think to me was the most surprising and I had to go in and took take a closer look at this because this dude had 5.9 million contracts now <laughs> that's absolutely insane uh guys if you do if you if you actually go in and you uh open up a pro pack you're gonna see that each pro pack you get about 10 to 25 contracts added so that's per pro pack 10 to 25 contracts added now if I break this down into just uh, pure math, and obviously we don't know that he's only opening pro packs. Well, we know that he's not only opening pro packs, but this is the only one that we can really look at and say definitively uh, kind of what he would get out of each pack. I mean, I know some of the other packs give you more contracts, but it's not substantially more and they cost more as well. So it's going to be roughly about this amount. Um Basically, I wanted to go in and see how many packs this guy would have had to have opened to get to the amount of contracts that he has. So, like I said, typically you're going to get somewhere between 10 to 25 contracts per pro pack, and that can vary. Obviously, 10 on the low end, 25 on the high end. I think 15 is about average. Um, it's somewhere 15 to 20, I'm assuming, is about average. So, uh, if we actually go in and break it down... Uh, 15 contracts per pro pack would mean that he has to have opened 395,897 packs. Or, of course, he could go in and actually buy contracts if he wanted to. Uh, that's always an option as well. And, you know, hy hypothetically, he might have done that. But let's just say he only opened up packs to get his contracts. So 395,897 packs. 
That's almost 400,000 packs, guys. And if you break that down by if he was opening up 60-pack bundles, let's say he only opened up 60-pack bundles, which uh, costs money, obviously. It costs Madden points. Uh, but let's just say that, hypothetically, he's doing the most efficient thing with his money because you get you know extra packs or extra um, points, I guess, the more that you spend as well. So each time, let's say that he, uh, that he did a 60-pack pro bundle for 8,500 points, if you go in and let's say he bought 12,000 points at a time, which again gives you the best bang for your buck each time, uh, 12,000 points is $100. So if you do the math on all of that, you can you can go in and do it yourself, but I'll do it for you here. That would have mean, meant that he would have spent 467358 dollars if he was buying 60 pro pack bundles at a time and also uh, if he was buying 12,000 points at a time. So if he was doing it the most efficiently that he possibly could to get contracts, he would spend $467,358. That's, I mean, again, it's kind of, uh, uh, could vary depending on how many contracts per pro pack that he got. But, you know, it's, like I said, it's going to be somewhere probably between 15 to 20 per pro pack. So these numbers are actually pretty accurate, to be honest with you, if he was doing it with pro packs. And again, there's a lot of variables that could go into that. But the bottom line is this dude is spending an absolutely freaking insane amount on Madden 16 Ultimate Team if he's doing this legitimately. Like, we're talking the most money that I've ever seen anybody spend on any video game. Uh, I mean, this is the type of thing that you would expect, like, Bill Gates to do if he was obsessed to mutt, uh, about mutt. He would spend $500,000, you know, or, or some just asininely rich person, a billionaire. This guy, if you look up in the top right corner of your screen, I mean, this dude, if you if you really paid attention to the surroundings that he had and what he's wearing and things like that, it's possible that he, you know, could have a lot of money, but he certainly doesn't dress like it and he certainly doesn't act like it. Um, and again, I'm not trying to categorize this guy or anything, but like it doesn't really show on anything other than his Madden Ultimate Team team. So, like, that would be kind of surprising to me if he's got, you know, if this dude's a multi, 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 multi millionaire and he's able to spend 500 grand on a game. Now, if you just look at the contracts, obviously that's one thing. But the other thing that I thought was interesting was that this dude had 38,859 tickets. Now, again, the tickets are the things that you can use for uh, ranked draft champions. I think that you use them for salary cap as well, but I'm, I could be wrong on that. But either way, uh, basically what I'm getting at is that the guy had a ridiculous amount of tickets. To give you an idea, I have nine of them. So, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I have nine tickets in comparison to this guy's basically 40 grand. Um, now, if you actually go in and you break it down again, you can actually get um, – uh, 30, you can get 10 tickets for 30,000 coins. Okay. So if he were to be buying the tickets with coins, he would have to spend 116,577,000 coins on tickets, 116 million Madden ultimate team coins. <laughs> like what, <laughs> what is going on right now? Uh, and obviously, guys, you can't uh, – that's absolutely ridiculous. That That is an insane amount. So he obviously didn't do it that way. Now, what he could have done is actually gone in and purchased them with money. And I'm going to equally say that this isn't isn't likely because if you break it down again, uh, we're talking about 12,000 points being $100, of course. Now, the tickets, you can buy 30 of them for 900 points. So if you break that down, uh, 400 tickets is basically going to cost you 100 bucks. Okay, that's that's the numbers. So if you do 38,859 divided by 400, you're going to come out to the amount of $9,714.75 spent on tickets. I mean, like I've heard of people spending a lot of money on this game. <laughs> But that seems a little excessive, doesn't it? I mean, here's the other thing. You can't even transfer tickets in this game. It's not like you can go and say, well, I have 500 farm accounts. That doesn't matter. You can't transfer them to another account, even if you could. Like, that's absolutely ridiculous. Like, why the hell would anybody ever need that many tickets? The only reason that somebody would have that many tickets is if they glitched the game. 
So my assumption here is actually that this dude has hacked the game somehow. And I have no idea how he's done it. But the reason that I'm actually almost for certain on this is because this guy actually uh, did his own job of exposing himself. Kind of funny if you actually look at it because this guy actually posted on the Madden Ultimate Team, or no, excuse me, the EA Answers website. So this is like a community support website that you can post things on. And he did this a couple of months back. This was in April. Uh, so it was April 12th, 2016. And he made a post on there and basically said, I haven't received any of my reward packs in Madden 16. Again, this is two months ago. So this is what, uh, six months after, no eight months after the game came out. And so, uh, I mean, obviously, you would expect that somebody that spends this much money on the game, supposedly, would have a Mutt Rewards account. Maybe he didn't care. But apparently he did care because he went on here and made a post about it. He says, I've opened up over 3,300 packs on Madden 16, and I've passed the legendary bracket, and I haven't received any packs in doing so. I want my packs. So, obviously, if this guy's opened up 3,300 packs, that's a good amount for two months ago. It's not, like, anything ridiculous. We've seen a ton of other people open up more packs than that. I'm sure um, you, there are people watching this video right now that have opened up more than 3,300. And, again, this was two months ago, so it's, you know, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's opened up more packs since then. But uh, even still, 3,300. Now, keep that number in mind because you remember how many packs that we would said that he would have had to have opened. I mean, we're talking about th hundreds of thousands of packs that he would have had to have opened uh, if he did pro packs before. I mean, we, we broke it down that he would have had to have opened up basically 400,000 packs uh, in order to get to the amount of uh, contracts that he had. So, you know, obviously something's going on here, right? Now, if you look at the, the second screenshot, Again, he's saying he still hasn't received them. This was a you know five days later or something like that. And he says that he spent at least a grand on Madden 16 alone, not including Madden 15 and Madden 25. I think I've earned my packs. So he says, oh my gosh, I've spent a le at least a grand. Now, again, this is two months ago. So in the last two months, he would have had to have opened up thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of packs, hundreds of thousands of packs, quite frankly, and he would have had to have spent a shitload of money on this game to get to the numbers that he's currently at. So something is going on here, obviously. Something happened between April 17th and today, which is June 19th. Now, I actually took this video on uh, the night of June 17th. It might have technically been past midnight, so it might have been June 18th. But the bottom line is that, uh, you know, something happened in the last two months that this guy got to a ridiculous level here on Madden Ultimate Team. Now, it's, again, funny. The third screenshot here, he's complaining about it again. I would actually be kind of pissed off myself, to be honest with you, if, if I had uh, opened this many packs and my Mutt Rewards thing wasn't working. But, uh, he, again, he's saying, here 11 days after the original post. I think it's 11 days after, but uh, he spent at least $900 on 25, $1,000 on 15, and now he's saying that he spent at least $1,500 on Madden 16. So in 11 days, he spent $500 possible, definitely possible. Uh, I want what I've earned. I mean, it's dang hard enough to be continuing to be a dedicated Madden player, and it is because the Maddens are declining in all aspects of the gameplay. Okay, whatever. So, <laughs> I mean, obviously, again, I would be pissed off if I was in this situation here. However, again, something happened between this point where he had spent $1,500 on the game to the point where he's spending supposedly like $500,000 on the game. Now, another thing that was kind of funny about this is that this dude actually showed his Mutt Rewards account. Uh, he sh pulled it up, you know, how he's got the little screenshot in the type top right-hand corner of the screen, and he actually pulled it up on his cell phone and uh, sh pulled it up to the webcam so that we could see, and it said that he had opened up, like, something like 64,000. It was, I, I think it was somewhere right around 65,000 packs on Madden Ultimate Team. So, first of all, that is very, very low, and I'm going to say unlikely. Uh, I mean, unless he only opens up the uh, the packs that are, like, in the bundles, 
And then he would have to spend an insane amount, of course, on that as well. Uh, because, again, to get to the contract number that he would need, we're, we were already showed that, that he would have need to needed to have opened uh, almost 400,000 packs. So if he's at 65,000, which, by the way, 65,000 is about 10 times as much as anybody else that I've seen. Uh, and uh, it's, you know, way the hell more than anybody that I've heard of. So uh, that number alone is a ridiculous amount. But if we consider, again, that you would need almost 400,000 packs to get to the number of contracts that he had if you opened up pro packs, now we see him say that he opened up 65,000 packs with his Mutt Rewards, and that didn't look like it was faked or anything. I, I mean, I could be wrong, but he showed the screenshot, and he was, like, you know, zooming in on it and stuff on his iPhone. So... Basically, what I think happened, guys, is that this guy, again, has glitched the system somehow, and it's giving him, I don't know if it's giving him unlimited packs, Un it might be giving him unlimited promo packs, but another thing that I actually saw is that in his binder, he had uh, at least one, but it might have been multiple, uh, of the redemption packs available, like the ones that, like, let's say you open up a pro pack, and inside the pro pack, there's, you know, another pro pack, or maybe an all Madden pack, or something like that, I saw that he had all pro pack, an all pro pack one, now, I don't know if that is any sort of a giveaway, or anything like that, but, Definitely, he had one of those in there, and my only thought is maybe it's possible that he has somehow found a way to duplicate that pack or the the set or something like that. And if he can do that, then he can basically up he he can basically open as many all pro packs as he wants, and then you know it's possible that he would be able to go in and actually get sixty thousand packs and get to this number of contracts. Now the tickets thing is still another glitch in of, of itself. I don't know uh, if unless he spent ten thousand dollars like we said or almost ten thousand dollars on contract or uh, tickets alone so again we're talking about this guy either he's glitched the game which i think is probably almost guaranteed at this point but although in his stream he said the entire time i'm legit they know i'm legit ea knows i'm legit go ahead and report me they're not gonna say shit you know and stuff like that but Either that is happening, that he has uh, glitched the game, or else this dude spent like $500,000 on Madden Ultimate Team. So it's one of those two things. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely one of those two things. I want to hear from you guys, though. What do you think happened here? Have you seen this guy stream before? Is my analysis here incorrect, or what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for all your support on the videos. I'm interested to see what you guys have to say in your investigative work of your own. Uh, if you guys have any other ideas on potentially what might have happened here, I want to hear it from you. Thanks again, guys. Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and maybe we'll see something more about this in the future. Bye, guys.